Hello everyone, my name is Crystal with VintageBoothPro.com. I am so excited to share this video today. It is all about what group members have sold in September over $50. So first of all, if you're not in our Facebook group, hurry over today, go to Facebook, look in the group section and type in Vintage Booth Pro, answer a few questions and I'll let you in. We have over 3,700 people so far. It's insane. I post daily updates um, just of what sold for the day. And people also chime in of what they sell. And let me tell you, people are really selling some amazing things. So it's a great educational group and just a fun group to be a part of, ask questions in and that sort of thing. And if you've been in the vintage booth world, you know that really smalls pay rent. And that's what we always say. And I actually have a great um, blog on my website with just the ultimate list of every small we can imagine. Um, it's vintageboothpro.com slash smalls. Um, so go take a look at it. Um, add it to Pinterest, bookmark it somehow, because I am going to be consistently updating it with any new ideas that come out and just, um, you know, things that can help boost your bottom line, boost your sales a little bit in your vintage booth. So yes, yeah, smalls make rent, but it is so nice to have those big juicy sales that are over $50 that really um, make a huge difference in your monthly revenue. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so I wanna share with you the image that I added in my Facebook group and where I requested the information. Now, if you can see the mistake that I made, I did not specifically ask people to share their location and what they purchased it for. I just said, share what's sold. So this is my mistake. A lot of the vendors that share their information have been in my group for a while and they know that I, I like that information and viewers tend to like that information too. So you can kind of see the prices that they're commanding in certain parts of the country. So my mistake, I haven't done a video like this since I think it was April. I'll share it. Um, I'll share it here and in the description. So you can see the last one I did. If you like this, let me know. I, I can start doing these on a monthly basis because we like to share what we sold because that is why we were all in this together and we were learning from each other. So anyways, let's get started. Our first vendor is my friend Love to Pieces. She saw this beautiful small yellow bookshelf for $95. And she says, I think I paid $15 for it, maybe. She is in Gastonia, North Carolina at Heritage Mill Antique and Designer Mall. So I have so many display pieces like this that I kind of purchase and forget about it because I use them so often. And so when they sell, it's kind of like, ah, what do I do now? Um, but that's a pretty great sell. I would love to have that on a daily basis. Next up, same vendor, Love to Pieces. And take a look at the red circle. She sold this Fenton Burmese glass hand-painted dogwood bowl for $100. And in, in her note, she says, I paid $40 for it. Not the best profit margin, but it was a beautiful piece of glass. But I think you're wrong. I think that's an incredible profit margin. And I would be super happy with that. Our next vendor is sold this Gibson Vaseline glass cruet or cruet. How do you say that? It sold for $85. But the really amazing thing is, is that she purchased it for $8. And um, that is a beautiful piece. Would you know to pick that up? I just wouldn't know enough about that, um, that at all. I mean, I always look at colored glass because clear glass is just uh, so just does not sell. But that is a great sale and something that we should all be keeping our eyes out for. Okay, our next vendor is in Norman, Oklahoma. Her booth is the Friends of New Life Homestead located in the Antique Mall Antique Paradise. So if you see kind of at the forefront of the picture is this beautiful antique farm table. She says it was in fair condition, bought at an auction for $5.00 and sold it for $150. In her note, she says, I priced it high thinking I would keep it for display and surprise when it sold. So that is a great surprise. Next up is a super cool um, old newspaper wagon. So this is from the vendor Mulberry Hall Vintage and Antiques located in Streetsboro, Streetsboro Ohio at the Streetsboro Antique 
mall. So she says, I paid $6 for this very cool old newspaper wagon at an auction with some other items. So she bought it for even less than $6, shared it to Facebook Marketplace, and someone drove three hours to get it. And I totally understand that. That is beautiful. And now same vendor, Mulberry Hall, different location, Wick Wycliffe, Ohio in Antiques and Uniques sold this antique oval framed boy with concave glass. Now I call this bubble glass just because it's easy and fun to say, but in my, in my knowledge, this type of glass sells so fast and it was purchased with several other pictures in a box lot at an auction. I don't know exactly how much it was, but she sold it for $50. Next one up is this beautiful dresser in Walla Walla, Washington. And the vendor is the Urban Barn Boutique at this store called the Country Store. Now, this is just stunning to look at. And would you believe she found this dresser for $40 at a local thrift store. And all she has to do was sand it and oil it. Now, say what you will about painted furniture versus natural. Natural is always going to sell better, especially when it's this light wood right now the darker woods that's what needs to be maybe updated sand it down a little bit but this is just literal perfection next up is this asian inspired needle points now they purchased them for ten dollars total and sold them for 75. now i really wish i could get a closer closer up view of them because i bet they're just stunning in person and someone did make a comment that somebody got a great deal at 75 so maybe you could have gotten a little bit more um, out of these but i'm always a fan of the quick penny versus the slow dime i think is the saying um so get that money yep Next up is this um, just stunning antique desk, and they actually received it for free from their parents' estate. Um, it did have, it needed some repairs, so purchased, got it for free and sold it for $100. Next up is this stunning wicker elephant table. Would you believe she found it at Goodwill for $13? Now, I, you really have to have your timing spot on. If you walk into a Goodwill and find something like this for $13, my Goodwills have been just completely bare lately. I, I don't know what's happening. Well, I do. I think everything's just going online, but you can even tell that this needs a little bit of repair and they were still able to sell it for $150. Okay, our next vendor found this cool Hollowell industrial stool for $5. Now tell me, would you pick this up, walk by it, and maybe say it needs to be painted or updated? Um, those are kind of the thoughts that go through my head, but they sold it just like this for $60. Next up is the secretary desk, another secretary desk. Bought it at a yard sale for $20 and it took a month to sell at $75. So that is a beautiful vignette. I love how it's displayed and looks so good. Great sell. This wicker shelf, uh, it's a vintage wicker shelf unit. They purchased it for $4. Can you believe that? At an online auction and sold it for $110. So um, really great find. Wicker is always or lately it's been very popular. Um, so always a good find. Um, I had a white one that I just updated into kind of hopefully the more natural brownish tone. So I hope mine sells quickly. Okay. Now check out this wrought iron fireplace grate. Oh, and I see, I made a mistake. Wrought iron gate. <laughs> fireplace grate. Um, sorry about that. They picked it up for $10 and sold it for $75. That is such a cool um, decor piece that you really can't find. It's really hard, difficult to find. And you see the arrow where they're pointing to it. Next up is a stunning brass candlestick lamp. Would you believe they purchased it for $3 at a local auction? Um, such a great find. And they were able to sell it for $60. So really cool sale there and great profit margin. So our next vendor, she looks like she knows a little bit more about glass than I do. I'm just learning about swan glasses, which is such a fun thing to collect. Um, but this one is just incredible. 
So you have to look at the top of the glass display. It's kind of to the left, but you can't miss it once you see it because it is 31 inches. Like that is stunning. So she says, I was lucky to sell an L.E. Smith swung vase for $165. It was a 31 inch beauty. And those are the things that make me so happy to see a collector find some missing piece or something that they've been looking for forever. And really, that's why we are in this business. So really great sale. Okay, next up is this unique lamp. Um, it looks like Asian inspired, but that is the lampshade is some kind of special material. Really beautiful. Would you believe they found it for $1 and they sold it for $50. So that is pretty cool. Next is this just stunning painting. Um, it's Notre Dame, it's Paris. Um, I don't know the size or anything, but I do know that they purchased it for $12.50 and <laughs> sold it for $350. Now that is exactly why we are doing all this. Somebody found the perfect piece uh, for their home and I bet they were so happy with that um, purchase. Next up is such a fun story. Now this is... It's something that's so totally unique. You will never find this out in the wild because she says, I bought an old trunk that was falling apart and made it into three different items to sell. The trunk was $12.50. I sold one of the projects for $75. And now this vendor has a website where you can actually go and see her, um, how she did all the projects. And her website is junkismylife.com. And who's like, whose is it like <laughs> when you're in this business, Chuck kind of is life. Next up are these stunning vintage Imari lamps. And I don't know if I'm saying that right, but they sold for $360. I would love to know where they found them and how much you purchased them for, but they are just beautiful. Now this Gloria Vanderbilt basket of flowers sold for $50. And this is such a fun story. She says, I got it at the end of an estate sale, fill a bag sale for $5. So they paid less than a dollar for it and sold it for $50. So pretty sweet. Now this one to me is understated elegance. Um, this mid-century rattan insulated ice bucket, she found it for $7 and sold it for $69. Um, so you really have to know your stuff and to be able to command that price and find the right collector that also knows um, how much that something like this is worth and valued at. So this is such a great sale. It's just so understated. I love it. Would you pass by this one? And that's what we're here for. We're here to find the hidden treasures. Next up. Oh, this is such a fun story. And I'm going to read this to you. First of all, she is in Jacksonville, North Carolina, Roxanne's Doodads, and I love that name. She is in Antique to Chic Vendor Market, and she says, a rattan and glass tabletop and chair set sold for $124. I picked it up for free. Could I have gotten more? Probably, but it was in need of a lot of tedious work that I don't have the time, nor did I have the patience last month to take on the project. So I sprayed it all down with the water hose, cleaned the glass, and took it to my booth. Oh, and she did include an additional picture, and I love how she displayed that. That is so fun, and a uh, great sale from free. I, I really can't see any repairs that need um, that are needed here, but uh, that's pretty awesome. Okay, this is our same vendor, Roxanne's Doodads, and she is in Wilmington, North Carolina at Flea Bodies Antique Mall and Auction House. Now, can you see this floor lamp that is lit um, beside the Santa, uh, the really cool Santa, I love him. She purchased this for $9.99 plus tax at a thrift store and it sold for $59.99. So, you know, they say lighting makes all the difference in the world and that I totally agree with. Um, because that is a great sell. Next up is the same vendor and she has another fun story. <laughs> so I'm going to read it to you. Roxanne's doodad. She is in Hampstead slash Top Sale Island, North Carolina. And I believe you can find her on Our Yard Your Cell, which looks like a Facebook group. Um, so I'm going to read this and you can see the table hidden underneath some stuff and to the left. Um, so the very ornate table that's hiding in the picture, bottom left, for $50. It was given to me from a friend who also obtained it for free and didn't have room in his booth for it. 
he had given it to another vendor who decided she didn't have room for it either. I'm glad it came to me. Quick flip. And that's another great point, being sure that people know what you're doing. And so people are taking their stuff to Goodwill every day. And I'm trying to figure out, like, how can we get people to bypass Goodwill and just bring us their really good stuff? Because she has done that here. So that's awesome. So our next vendor, um, this is just amazing. And I have so many nice things to say about this vendor. Um, she has the best time for finding the most amazing things. And um, I am going to read about this Bethany Lowe snowman. He was huge, probably two feet tall. I picked it up at a garage sale for $5 and sold it for $75. It sold out of my space in one day. So this is just a beautiful piece and uh, made somebody very happy with that snowman. Okay, we are continuing on the wicker lane with this beautiful vintage wicker canoe chair. It folds up and has leather straps and a bottom drawer. She found it for $10. I listed it pretty low at 56 and it sold in the first month. So that is great. Now, before I read the story about this one, I want to point out, and you can go back and take a look at all the images of these bigger pieces that have sold. Most of them have perfectly curated and designed vignettes. And I think that is a huge learning curve. And once you are able to start creating those vignettes, you are going to start finding a lot more success. Um, some of these vendors have been doing this for a while and they can whip up some of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. And case in point here, this large oak bookcase got it for $10 at a yard sale, painted it black on the outside and Robin's egg blue on the inside. And then I distressed it and it sold for $189. And you know, one thing I always wonder is the bottom of bookshelves. I feel like nobody sees them, but she took the time to really um, display and piece beautiful items there. So for throughout the whole bookshelf. So that's a really great sale. And except I do think about like when it, when she learned that it sold like, Oh no, no, I have to replace it. I have a big empty hole in my booth, but that's a great problem that we have. <laughs> okay. Next vendor is this beautiful wash stand. They paid $20 for it and it sold for 100. So that, I mean, I feel like that's a great deal and some made somebody very happy. That's a beautiful piece to have in your home. Okay, now help me out. I can't think of the name of this. Um, I, it's not a hut, it's like a dresser, chiffre, I, I don't know, but it's beautiful. And I don't know how much she paid for it, but it sold for $175, so pretty sweet. And this is our same vendor, folding chairs that she got for free, sold for $50. And I do wanna mention that uh, we are entering the holidays where people are going to be visiting. And so I think we're going to be seeing a lot more sales like this that to accommodate guests, tables, chairs, you know, any kind of extra sitting room type things to accommodate family that's coming in town. So just keep your eye out. Our next vendor, this is just insane. So this vintage nautical brass wall sconces got them for free from someone doing a home remodel and sold them for $500. They are beautiful. Next up is this marble top chest sold for $119. And now what I said before about creating the vignettes, the next few pictures are from the same vendor and they consistently have very high sales. And I really think it has to do not only with the artwork that you see on the walls, but how they have created these stunning vignettes. Same vendor, it sold this tobacco leaf pumpkin for $89. It looks like it's new, possibly hand painted, just a really stunning piece. This large outdoor pumpkin sold for $50 and that is from the same vendor. And now this lovely pheasant taxidermy piece sold for $125. And I think I, ha I had asked about um, this piece before from this vendor. And they said they find them at estate sales quite often. I run from these things like the plague because oh, just creepy. <laughs> but I might have to reconsider that to have a $125 sale. So just really cool. And I think um, another piece coming up is kind of a 
along the same lines as that one. Um, this beautiful lamp, same vendor, sold for $55. And another just stunning um, example of a beautiful vignette. And this is what I was mentioning. So this is the same vendor. There's that pheasant. And it looks like I wondered if the same person purchased this pheasant lamp that sold for $59. So they can have a whole man cave theme going on there. And our last vendor, that's certainly not least, sold this really stunning MCM mid-century stained glass lamp. It sold for $94.95. And they purchased it at an auction for $20. So pretty great sale. And um, yeah, I love it. So what is your biggest sale for September? I would love to know in the comments below. And like I mentioned, if there's anyone that you would like to know the specific location of that particular booth, just um, drop it in the comments below. If the person that submitted the information didn't see it, I will try to do a little research and let you know. So if you like information like this, um, I, I haven't done this video, this type of video in a while, but I would like to start doing it on a monthly basis um, because it's just so interesting to see what people are selling um, around the around the world. Um, so let me know what you think, and I'm going to drop a few options here for you to continue watching if you like that sort of content. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you on the next video.